So I know on the channel we do spend quite a bit of time as I try to uh, talking about firearms for EEC. So I thought today I would talk about the primary ways that I carry firearms for EDC or how I carry for EDC. So I'm gonna be talking about the two primary rigs that I run. And uh, of course there are a few difference, differences because I do run a few different firearms, but by and large I'm, I'm nominally running the Glock platform, whether it's the 19 or my 19X. And so both of these holsters are for both the 19, 19X. And so this is how I carry and the primary options, reasons why I go with them. So without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of it. The support means a ton. So now let's jump into it. So here of late, I've been primarily running the uh, sidecar from T-Rex Arms. This is what it looks like in its kind of full setup with its spare mag. And this is usually, uh, this is actually here of late been my go-to setup, but for the most part, I definitely run either this guy or the Mill Sparks Summer Special 2, which is this guy, which we'll get into in a little bit. Now, some of the primary pros to the sidecar, of course, inherently is that it is built in with a spare mag holster. And of course, some modern day uh, sidecars with the spine system allow you to carry a wide variety of secondary things from tourniquets to magazines to rifle mags. So there's a lot of versatility within this setup, especially within the T-Rex Arms family of sidecars. And ultimately for me, I think there has been some opposition, you know, on the, with some of the gun tubers against, you know, they don't like how large and how bulky the sidecar rigs can be. But for me, I find for at least my body, and I think every body type is going to be different, but I primarily appendix care and for my body type, um, I find that this system is concealable, is really concealable for me. And I like the fact that this one setup allows me to have my spare mag and it's kind of a kind of set and forget type of setup where, you know, I know that if I'm, if I have my gun on me, it has an extra mag with it and it's a really convenient package that keeps everything together and keeps everything concealed. So instead of having to in the past or sometimes when I do run my uh, mill sparks and I want to run an extra mag, I'll have to run the additional mag in a separate location on my body and so it's less. Con so for me, like I said, a lot of the sidecar or my liking for the sidecar really comes down to convenience. Now, each sidecar from each different maker is going to be different. So I really do like the sidecar from T-Rex Arms. Other people have talked about different ones from different makers. And uh, for me personally, I think that this setup is really good. It's a really solid and very comfortable um, setup. And for me, I find that this uh, setup with the kind of flange here really conceals quite well. It really does push the firearm into my body quite a bit. And of course you do want that to a degree because that's what keeps the gun concealable is when the firearm is just slightly angled towards or pushing in towards you. And so for me, I find that this strikes a really good level of comfort and carry and also a really good level of concealability. I can easily conceal this whole package and go about my daily business, do whatever within reason and no one is susceptible no one suspects that I have this set up ready to go at any time. So I really do like it for that reason. The other thing I do like about the T-Rex Arms setup is that it is very um, purpose-driven to be set up with things like a red dot sight on it with a threaded barrel. And of course you can get uh, different ones for different, uh, different lights and lasers that you may that you might want to carry every day. So very versatile, and I think that that is another drawing or driving force to why I really like this setup. Now, if I do wanna go with something a little bit more minimalistic, usually I will run my Milt Sparks Summer Special 2. Now this one doesn't perfectly fit because this one of course is not cut for my red dot sight, but it still works just fine. You guys can see here, it does cover the trigger, so I'm not able to access my trigger. So it's still perfectly safe and perfectly fine to have it in this setup. Of course, my Glock 19X, which I did not bring with me, is uh, fits in this perfectly. But as you guys can see, this one fits just fine. And sometimes I will run the 19, the modded 19 in this, but usually if I'm gonna run this holster, it's gonna be with my 19X. Anyways, Usually how I run this holster, like I said, it's a little bit less expanded to, you know, accommodate for red dot sights and such, but it is also a little bit more low drag and a little bit more concealable. Of course, you know, the overall dimensions are noticeably different. You know, you have a whole 
mag holster on your sidecar, whereas this is literally just a holster. The other thing I really do like about this system and setup is it's more comfort minded. Undoubtedly, even the best and most well-designed Kydex holsters are still made of plastic Kydex and they will still dig into you and hurt you if you are not wearing them correctly or if they're just in an off position or maybe you know, you're bent over or something along those lines. The leather is going to be a lot more comfortable because of course leather is pliable and while this is still pretty stiff horse hide, it's uh, very still much more pliable than Kydex. In addition to, of course, leather is a smoother, um, more supple type of material. So if it does contact you or rub against you, especially in high, uh, high contact areas like this, you're still going to be comfortable. So that is one thing to keep in mind with leather and why I do like it. But primarily, like I said, why I like running this holster is it is just a more slim and, uh, more slim lined holster. So if I don't want the ability or if I don't need the ability to have an extra magazine, this is a really good setup. Or in addition, if I'm running a type of uh, apparel or clothing where having that extra length or that extra magazine on the side will make the gun less concealable, this is definitely my option. Because once again, I do have a spare mag carrier that I can run in addition with this and say I can have my you know, spare mag on my, at my, you know, around nine o'clock to eight o'clock position on my body and then have this, you know, uh, appendix right around the 12 to one o'clock position on my body. So it still allows for me to carry the firearm and the extra mag, just the extra mag in a different location on my body. So those are the large, those are the two largest ways that I carry my handguns most of the time. There are other setups, but by and large, I'm pretty much a well-adapted appendix carry fan. I think a lot of people nowadays are as well. But of course, your body type will really predicate that. As you guys have probably seen in my videos, you know, I'm overall kind of a stick or twig built like person. So I don't really have, you know, any extra fat or belly hanging out in front of me. If you are that type of person, appendix is probably not for you, but for my body style, I find it easier to conceal appendix just because of how my body is shaped. I do, if I try to carry at the six o'clock position, you know, CCW, my gun will usually protrude a lot. And, or if I do things like bend over to grab something, oftentimes my clothing do not like to reset over that handgun. So it leads to a very noticeable kind of, you know, bunched up clothing right around my six o'clock. So it really is quite noticeable if I try to CCW in that fashion. So that is why I do prefer appendix. And that is why both of my holsters are set up for appendix carry. Anyways, guys, hopefully enjoyed this video and kind of dive into, you know, how I carry firearms for EDC. As always, God bless and I'm out.